Well, the Patriot Act was made a law in this country about six weeks after the attacks of 9-11. While sounding quite patriotic, it actually gave the U.S. government far-reaching power to monitor citizens in the name, of course, of terrorism. Now, the law lasted 10 years and then was renewed recently under President Obama. Well, now there's a new proposed law that's likely to pass in Great Britain that looks a whole lot like the U.S. Patriot Act. It would give one of Britain's national security agencies the power to monitor phone calls, texts, emails, and online activities, all in the name of, quote, investigating serious crime and terrorism to protect the public. Now, this is interesting because it means some Internet companies will actually be required to install a special kind of hardware that would give the agency the ability to access who an individual or group is in contact with, how long and how frequently they're in contact with them. They would still need a warrant to gain access to the content of the emails and phone calls, but this is still causing quite a stir there. Jake Delberto is a veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps, an RT blogger, and also currently living in the U.K. Jake, what's the sentiment uh, where you're living about this proposed law, the Communications Capabilities Development Program? Hey, Christine, it's nice to see you guys. Well, basically, this is, this is really a preposterous uh, attempt by the government to expand its more powers. And, you know, living, in Lincoln, living here in England, it's like, yeah, this is a major expansion of the government powers, and that's exactly what they don't need here. The, the government has cameras at every angle, every street. There's spy and everything possible. It's absolute madness here. So um, in the uh, Independent, it was reported today, blogs were going crazy. British people are not very happy about this. But uh, if you read in the uh, Daily Mail, which I like to call the Daily Racist, uh, you can find all sorts of claims about the, the, not the Republicans, but the conservatives here saying, oh, it's a good thing because it's going to defeat terrorism. Well, I say, well, you know, the best way to defeat terrorism is by getting your troops out of their country and stop making the rest of the world mad at you. And you obviously, everybody knows that the UK follows the US everywhere it goes. So uh, basically, British people aren't happy. It's a massive extension of government, and the scary bit is that the U.S. might be shortly right behind it. Uh, and I know that, well, shortly right behind it, but uh, in many ways, uh, the Patriot Act is already sort of in effect. Um, it, it is interesting, Jake, because I remember that when I was visiting London. There are cameras on every corner, it seems. Every. Do you think that the citizens there have just sort of gotten used to that? Well, they really have. And you know, I'm going to tell you what, in some ways, when you're in major cities and major streets, you know, cameras is a good thing in, in major areas, just public areas, because you can see, you know, accidents that happen or things like that. But when you're talking about cameras that can peer into people's homes and zoom in, that sort of thing, that's an invasion of people's space, an invasion of privacy. And British people have totally gotten used to it. And they're sort of sort of uh, they see this this next version of intrusion as a benign act by the government. However, uh, those of us in America who still value freedom and liberty to a degree see this as totally absurd, don't want the government to do it. And guess what? The government's going to do it in America soon unless there's uh, some sort of I don't know, curtailing of government powers, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Yeah, that, that certainly we just found out today the Supreme Court uh, is going to allow for strip searches, and it seems like liberties are being taken away more than they're being added, uh, at least lately, with uh, a lot of the things that we're seeing. Um, let me ask you, Jake, this law, uh, or a version of this law in the UK, was, was first proposed back in 2006, and it ended up sort of being thrown out because there was so much opposition. Why do you think this time it's different? Well, since 2006 in the UK, there's been almost three times the amount of internet access. And also now with the development of smartphones, more people are using the internet via smartphones, not just in, you know, at their home or in cafes, that sort of thing. So there's a need by the government to control and surve provide surveillance out of what everybody's doing. And also the, the, the other thing is that the companies that provide internet service here, Virgin Media, Microsoft, etc., they are making huge profits and huge uh, dollars by being in bed with the government, by being able to provide that information that we do, we email to each other. They're making money and they're making profits of being able to do that. Yeah, I was going to uh, ask you that. I was going to ask you why these television companies and internet companies aren't speaking out against this. So they actually have sort of a financial stake here? Yeah, that's right. That's right. And the reason that they do, so in the UK, for instance, everybody has to have 
has to pay the government to have a TV. There's a, there's a government fee to do that. Everybody um, in the UK who uses the internet and you, watches TV on the internet has to pay the government a tax to do that. Um, there's no such thing as freedom of information or free access. And um, the companies set that up with the government to make sure they can continue making profits so that they can continue having, uh, I think, control over people's lives. Uh, that's certainly interesting. Now, uh, from what I understand, this, this law will pass it and go into effect in June of 2015. Um, you said a lot of people uh, are not happy about it, that they're sort of blogging about it. Uh, yeah. Is there any, are, are there any arguments that you've heard in favor of this law that are at all compelling to, to any of these people? Well, okay, so the, the only thing to be, to, to, to say that there's reasonability, there is there are people in the world that are causing trouble. There is crime, there is terrorism, there is all sorts of that sort of stuff. Um, and the government has, the government has a, a legitimate authority to protect the citizens from nefarious behavior. However, all of that does not mean that somehow the government needs to be influencing every aspect of your life. And uh, the, the, the balance here, the balance of power is how much power do the citizens want to give to the state? And in England, people have subsided, and they've given the state every bit of power. Uh, let's hope America doesn't follow. Yeah, so it is certainly interesting, and we'll be keeping our eyes on it. Um, you, you keep us posted, too, Joke, Jake, on everything that you're seeing, because uh, it is such a different, uh, a different world in some ways, even though the, the, you know, Great Britain and the U.S. also have so much in common. I uh, appreciate you being on with us, RT blogger. And no worries. Former U.S. Marine, Jake Delberto.